What it is everybody, it's me, Semigamer2018. And for the first time in over a year, True Story Time is back with another story that actually just happened. So, yeah, I'm kind of embarrassed to tell this one because this just happened about five hours ago at the time of ma filming this. But, um, I was looking over my True Story Times playlist and I've noticed that a majority of the stories told on that playlist aren't really story material because they're not really all that long and they're not really stories, they're just small things that have happened to me. So from now, from this point forward, the True Story Times playlist will only be dedicated to like long and entertaining stories like this one. I am speaking very quietly because it's one in the morning and I don't want to wake everyone else in the house up. But uh, yeah. I guess you can say this story starts off a few days ago because I got diagnosed with a cold a few days ago and I have not been feeling very well because of it. Yesterday, we went to watch Wonka, and I just felt sick the entire time of us watching it, to the point where the movie felt like over three hours long. So this morning in particular, it was Christmas Day, and I am not feeling all that much better. But I still have to wake up early because of all the stuff, and... We exchanged gifts and all that, I took a picture of everything I got and posted it on my community post, and I assume a majority of y'all already saw that. After we did all that, we went up to my grandparents' place to exchange gifts with them and for them to exchange with us, and yeah, that was also pretty fun too. Thing is, I didn't really eat all that much yesterday. Because, um, I'm not sure, I just wasn't really all that hungry. I, I had a cup of eggnog, a couple pieces of candy, and one of those Red Baron's pepperoni pizzas, because those are some, that's some pretty good stuff. We left later in the day, and we spent a few hours driving back home, and at around 8.45 p.m., like, we're not too far away from our house, and I start feeling really sick. Like, I was taking a nap in the car, and the I don't know if it was the vibration directly or if I was already feeling sick before I woke up, but I wake, but I wake up in the car, and, you know, it's vibrating because of what's going on outside, and that makes me a bit dizzy. So I sit up straight and try to fall asleep on the side, but, but, but then it starts getting extremely hot. And I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Like, why is it so, why is it so hot? This jacket couldn't really be doing anything right. And the, and the cooler is on in the car. So I roll down the window. Then I realize I can't breathe very well. And I have no idea what's going on. I remember my, my mom and dad asking me, why are you rolling down the window with how cold it was? To me, it was not cold at all. It just felt normal to me, like in the summertime. So I'm heating up really badly and I feel like, I'm gonna throw up. So I roll down the window, and just as I suspected, I started throwing up. I remember my mom and dad yelling at my little brother, who is right next to me, to get the trash can. Cause our our car has a trash can in case like we need stuff for stuff like this. And yeah, there's this vomit everywhere in the car, all over my clothes. The car smells terrible and my throat is just dry and everything just tastes terrible in my mouth so we get home i throw everything in the wash we wash the car and um yeah we have absolutely no idea what happened but it was just a disgusting mess that i left in the car on the christmas day i guess that means this is the worst christmas i've ever had because the other ones are usually really good, but nope, I just have to get really sick, even though it's nearly been two years since I've gotten sick, and I wanted to keep that streak up, but just one more week till the end of the year, but they, they still had to break it. 
still have no idea what happened. I'm like, I have no idea if this is related to the cold I've had the past couple days. I don't know if it's the fact that I didn't eat all that much, but that would have made no sense. The, I ate the pizza four hours before I threw up, so why would have it hit like that late? But yeah, this it just happened five hours ago. I'm laying in bed. Everyone else is asleep. It's one in the morning. Yeah, and all that. Well, um, I hope to see you guys next time for another true story time. I hope something interesting happens in my life next because the true story time series is now only dedicated to like long stories like this one not just one that's one minute or two minutes like the rest of them kind of have been so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video and story and i'll see you next time bye